It was 1952. It was a cold winter day. Only sticks were blowing off the trees. It was a storm blowing in from the south, across the lake. Logs were in the water, chattering. Then you heard some rustling. Next thing you know, there was two of them. Two figures appeared out of nowhere, out of the woods. It was a camping experience I will never forget. It was along power lines. Two Sasquatches, female and male, at least eight feet tall, hairy and gigantic. They'd been terrorizing the town, and people had reported missings, animals, large and small. But this, this my friends, was the worst time of my life. My friend was killed, grabbed him, took him off into the woods, I never saw him again. Why would you do such a thing? <coughs> My friend, we never found him. As for that, there's three more of us left. We thought it was no big deal, maybe a prank of some teenagers or something. So we decided to camp the next night. That's when things turned bad. That's when things turned real bad. They were in their tents. It was about 11.32 p.m. We were going to take a midnight swim. Cause that's what we always do. We're college kids. It's not fun about that. So then I hear some screaming and crunching of footsteps getting closer and closer. But it was across the camp near my friend's tent. So I thought, again, maybe like some fun. But no, no, it wasn't. Blood hurling cries coming from the woods as they step closer and closer. This was not. <laughs> Blood hurling cries coming out from the woods, getting closer and closer. The tent was torn the next morning when I woke up. I didn't remember what had happened. I must have been knocked out. It was only me, both of my friends gone. Their clothes, their shirts left behind. But I didn't understand why. That day, I decided to take a break. Leave, I guess. And so I went to the sheriff's office and reported three missing people. They thought it was a joke, but I knew it wasn't. I went back to look for this thing, to kill it to take revenge for what they had taken from me. Three shots it took. One to the head, one to the abdomen, and one to the heart. I had killed this creature. I was proud of it, because it had done something that I could never forgive it for. Sometimes, when something hurts you, you have to hurt it more. And that is a story of my life. Green grapes, we like them down south. We like them down south. Like the lobster, like the lobster. <laughs> Did you get that?